Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the channel. I got a production copy of Luminar Neo from Skylum and we're going to take a look at it in this video. So like I said, it's a production copy, so it's not all of the features running that kind of stuff. It's just an example of how it's running and all that kind of stuff. So even don't take speed around like that. It's literally just something to show us an idea of what might be coming in the future. So let's just dive straight into it. Hi folks, I've got a preview version of Luminar Neo. Now it is not a full ready to go version and it's not the full production speed or anything like that. It's just an example of how it looks and the stuff it does. Now it doesn't have much in it at the moment because it's just a preview to give you an idea of what's happening. So there's two sections that we have the catalog section and we have the edit section. Now the catalogs will be upgradable from older versions so all of the work that you've done before will be able to bring it in. Uh, so I'm, what I'm just using here at the moment, I'm literally just looking at the sample images that came with the actual technical preview to give you an idea of some of the stuff that's in there. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so if we go to edit, we'll see some of the stuff that the edit allows. So as you can see, it jumps in and because the first image was selected, it goes to this one first. The two tools that are here really are just, just erase, and which is kind of appropriate because um, Skylum were Mac phone at one stage and I think Snap Hill was one of their first products. So if we go to erase, we'll see there's a couple of options in here, including remove dust spots and remove power lines. Now there isn't particularly dust spots in this image or power lines, but we still have the standard erase. So we could come in here and we could grab something like, say for example, this uh, pole from the boat. I'm just going to pull along here and then I'm going to drag along so that it's also pulling down the reflection. Make sure it's all there and then click erase and then it will do a bunch of calculations and it will get rid of it. And that's perfectly reasonable for the amount of work that took, uh, in my opinion. We can jump into relight as well. And so relight basically is depth aware relighting. OK, so you've got brightness from near and far in the image and then you can set the depth. I had the advanced settings open. Normally they would be closed like this. So for near brightness, so that will be kind of the water and stuff. So we can see that we're lightening around the water and um, that's too much. So bring it back a small bit. Um, brightness far, so we could, if you want to, we can make the sky a little bit darker. Uh, you can also make them a bit warmer. And let's say you can make the, you make it sky bluer by warmth far, pulling that back a little bit and creating contrast that way. Now in this case here, I actually probably need to bump that a little bit more and probably bump this a little bit more because the whole thing is brightening the whole image. And I think to watch for is if you're not getting halo among the edges. And we're not. Now the thing we can do with depth is depth decides how far back in this goes. So by changing the depth, you can actually see this getting darker here. And as we move it across, we can get the balance of where we want the difference between near and far to be. Okay, so that's a nice balance there on that. So let's jump back to catalog and we're going to grab this image here for a second. And again, go to edit. And if we press E, it'll go to edit as well. And then if we turn on relight, brightness near and far. So let's make the background darker. Okay. So as we see that it's making it darker. This area is not getting quite as dark. So let's play around with the depth a little bit. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten the face. So I'll bring the face up in brightness. Okay, so the face is a bit brighter. Now sometimes you're going to see a little bit of halo. So let's do it a little bit more so we, we, we end up with a small bit of haloing. Right, so see where you got these halos in the edges. So if we bring up D-Halo, that kind of gets rid of it. It kind of smooths out the transition a little bit and looks a bit better. And again, so we can, let's, let's make the distance a little bit cooler. So bring it down so the background's a bit cooler. And we can kind of add a tiny little bit of warmth into the face as well. Not too much because there's already some there. So that will give us a little bit of color contrast as well as the contrast we're creating with luminosity between the background and, and Foreground. So if we come down here to the preview button, we can see that Relight has done quite a lot there in that particular image, which is excellent. Again, go back to catalog. And let's just grab this image here for a second. Double click and give us a full view and then press E to go in and give us the edit. In this case, we're just going to grab a race very quickly and just grab this dude here. Paint him around and then click erase. And he is gone. Pretty much. 
so that is kind of a quick look at some of the stuff. Um, now, I haven't tried anything on this one here. Um, just seeing if there's any... There's no real power lines here for the power line. But let's just have a look and see what it says when we go remove power lines. It may not remove anything. Oh, it did. It got rid of the power line just there. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, so if you haven't seen that, just the preview. It's gotten rid of the lock where it, it thinks they're power lines. Yeah, that's pretty effective. So that's been a, a look at the preview of Luminar Neo. Now, there is a deal that's on at the moment because it's Black Friday and you get lots of Black Friday offers on this. You get up to 60% off if you get Luminar Neo and Luminar AI at the same time. Now, just to explain that, they are different products and the reason why they're not expanding Luminar AI to include the things that are coming with Luminar Neo, including layers and stuff like that for creative stuff, is because it would be like, uh, a, a very good example is, like, you know, you've got a car for driving your family around, then you've got a car for Formula One, or you've got a car for a NASCAR, or whatever. They all require different things. So the engine that's inside Luminar AI is not powerful enough to cope with the stuff that Luminar Neo can do. Uh, and Luminar Neo is bringing things like layering from uh, Luminar 4 up. Um, so it looks like it's going to be a great, great product as well. And Skylum stuff has generally been very, very, very good. So hopefully that's been helpful to you um, for just a quick look at Luminar Neo.